Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about client scripts and this topic will be divided into multiple videos. This is the introduction video and other videos will be on the demo of types of client scripts and we will be creating them in service now. So right now our agenda, so we will be discussing what is the definition of client script, why we are using client scripts, types of client scripts, how to navigate to client scripts and the below four topics will be discussed in the further videos. So let's quickly jump to definition. So client scripts allow the system to run JavaScript on client or the web browser when client based event occurs such as form loads after form submission or when field value changes. So it enhances the user experience because there is no lag time and as soon as the form loads you can run the client scripts or when the values on the form changes you can then run the client scripts as well as when you are trying to submit the form you can run at that point of time as well. So what are the uses of client scripts in service now the first one is we can use it to configure the forms form fields or field values while the user is using the form at the same time. So what we can do at that point of time make other fields hidden or visible. We can make the fields read only or writable. We can make fields optional or mandatory based on user's role or on some other fields dependency and set the value in one field based on the value in other fields as well. So if I want to change the subcategories based on the category on the incident form we can do it via client script. Next is modify the options in a choice list based on user's role. We can take the same example of the drop down if you want to show only category based on the user roles. So there might be some categories which should be only visible to the asset admins or the admins. We can do that as well. We can display messages based on the value in a field. For example, we want email field to be valid. So whenever user leaves that field and if he has entered an invalid email, we can show a message below the field that it's an invalid email ID or maybe a valid when he enters a valid email ID. So there are four types of client scripts. The first one is on load. So whenever the form is loading and it's rendering for the first time and before users can actually enter the data, the on load script is run at that time. So this is essential when you're showing the form for the first time, what is the manipulation or what are the fields you want to make read only mandatory visible or not visible. You can do it on the first time. You can do it through on load client script. The next one is on submit and as the name suggests it will run when you click the on submit button and it will ensure that all the values on the form are correctly filled in or not. So you have to define that and on the on submit client script you will say that email field is correctly entered or not or maybe some other field. So this makes sense when you are trying to submit and all fields should have the correct value. And in your logic, if you have defined that these values are not valid, you can stop the submission of the form and show a pop up that these are the values which are not correctly entered. Next one is the on change. On change runs when you actually change the field value. For example, if you are making changes to the category field and the subcategory field values change accord accordingly. So at that point of time, we can use the on change to make something else change on the form or maybe we can if somebody enters the assignment group we can make assign assigned to as mandatory as well the last one is the on cell edit this applies on the list view and whenever users make changes on the list this on cell edit client script will run so now we will see how can we navigate to client scripts in service now i'll go to service now on the left hand navigator I can type client scripts and you can see under system definition I can click on client scripts and it will list down all the client scripts which are present in the service now system and on all the tables. You can provide a filter to filter out on which table you want to see or if you know the name of the client script you can search it through here. The other one is if I am on a specific table for example incident. I can right click on any of the headers here and I can go to configure client scripts and I will be able to see the client scripts 
only on the incident table and only on its parent table so that is the task table and when you click on new here you can create new client scripts so this is the introduction to client scripts and please stick to my channel for further videos on the types of client scripts and their demo thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel